I recently got my first two platinum trophy and now I'm addicted. So on this video, I'm trophy hunting AEW Fight Forever in two parts. One of which was insanely tedious and making me regret this. But let's start with the fun part. Oh my goodness, why? We're about to finish this off. Whoa, what? <laughs> First off, if you've been playing wrestling games for as long as I have, not like I have a whole channel just dedicated to her or something like that. You the first thing you're probably gonna do is try to create your own wrestler. Now in this game, this turned out to be the most disappointing idea because of how limited it is. Overall, despite the solid gameplay mechanics, the limited options, modes, and lack of match types, it's why this game got elbow dropped to the ground. Since there was no way I was gonna create myself, I tried to create John Cena. It doesn't compare to WWE 2K23 at all, but I thought it would be funny if we make the most wwe guy oh elite we are now on the way i did manage to create a move set to give him his finisher and it was time to get the first couple of trophies right away i went for the hardest difficulty because i knew i would be able to get three trophies in this first match if everything went according to plan and after a few back and forth it was time to get our first win oh here we go we got the signature now now you're probably wondering what is it gonna be of course it's gonna be the AA. And one of the trophies also require us uh, to hit that finisher. Let's go ahead and uh, taunt so we can get that special. Get him up. See, now you already know what to do. He can't see you. We hit him with another AA. The moveset was limited, so we had to do the sig and the finisher as the same. But this should be it. And instead of three in this one match, we actually got four as we managed to win the match in elite difficulty. We get a first win, making their debut, which we create a custom wrestler and completed that first match and this one for hitting both the signature and the finisher in one match and coming out of that win and a few extra one we already had a bunch of aew cash which is the in-game currency so i went on to purchase some of the locked wrestlers we had to start off with cody rhodes of course so hopefully he finished the story i went on to try some of the mini games because i needed a complete five for a trophy some of these are fun but i kind of wish that these resources would have gone to adding more match types and whatnot because you know it is a wrestling game after all and i even became a master in some of these like in the baseball one all right we're not missing anymore we already know i'm a master when it comes to baseball out here let's go home runs crazy that we also got a home run on the last trophy hunt for spider-man no wonder i'm so good at this and we go and we hit it again the timing is just too perfect like i said jeff Hardy your team got nothing on us so after getting a few mini games done by myself got some friends to join in i did end up losing that fifth one but we did got professional gamer which is just playing through five mini games back to creation i wanted to check out the arena for one of the trophies and like i said just in general the creation wasn't really that impressive but we created something to get arena architect i also created a luchador version of myself as good as I could at least and pair him up with my favorite wrestler of this era Brian Danielson called them the savage goat to get the promising new team and I was feeling confident so it was time to face that three opponents instead of one and make it for the title so we could get a two for one trophy let me tell you this was not a good idea because I was still in elite difficulty the pinfall just get broken way too often after a long match still ended up losing but the next one was quick because I decided to focus on submission and sneaked away with the victory and the title with mjf that is 10 down and now cena it's time to beat you up man we started this journey with you but you ain't gonna get away now this is 100 the most insane match type that you could do here although i wish you could do a bit more and then we got kaboom which all we had to do was iris whip cena towards the ropes so hold on we got the big explosion though let's go i guess and it's just absolutely insane definitely better than real life oh my oh my god 
good. It was now time to main a Brian Danielson. Brian was broken, having a lot of the best skills, many for the required trophies. And we got quite a lot in just one match. By having the taupe offense skill, we landed two dives to the outside and got fearless rocket. He also has the skill to do guard rail dives. Now I'm telling you, Brian is just too good, man. This man is nonstop. He has everything of the guard rail, but he ain't done there because he also got the springboard offense skill. And to top it off, we won by submission to get another one. That wasn't old though. I kept using Brian because he still had more skills that we still needed to use to get more of the trophies. We went against Darby Allen. I got the special and we used the skill to steal his finisher. I also restarted the match, had him beat me up a bit just so that I could later on use the desperation impulse skill and roll him up for the win. Brian really is the GOAT. I'm sorry, Tribal Chief. I'm the greatest of all time, kid. By this point, I also completed completed multiple in-game challenges, especially for doing online ranked. And as I said, we did hit legend. So doing that and completing many of the normal challenges, we got way more than 30 done for the trophy. It was then cheesy time because uh, some of the next uh, trophies, you were just able to connect a second controller and just get them done. And I knew it was about to get hardcore. So I decided to bring in John Moxley once again. So we got to attack an opponent using a bar wire bat moxley also have anti-air defense skill so we could catch the opponent mid-air again this is where the second controller becomes really useful we then got rope and corner wizard which just required us to do a rebound attack after the opponent send us towards the corner or the rope again with two controller i ended up using matt jackson to do a kip up every time that brian takes me down after doing it five times we got smoothed out footwork with Orange Cassidy and Pac. I did a lot of match. And when knocking off the opponent, we got watch your footing. Orange Cassidy also has one of the last skills that we needed to use for a skill-related trophy. He put those hands on his pocket and he wrestles with it. What? He actually does a lot with it, including going for the pinfall, which is what we needed to get who needs hands. What? And next up, it was time for me to enter the Casino Battle Royal and test my ability in this one i knew that i was going to be able to get two different trophies for that first one i needed to get 10 elimination i was still in elite difficulty so yeah john please i'm just trying to get you out man where are you getting all these paradigm shit from all right this is our opening right now iris swift and here comes kenny omega you gotta be kidding me right now must feel really good for you to be the best in this game kenny i ain't letting you walk away from oh he dodged that oh no i was swept oh come on so that one didn't work out next run we did got him out though and then we were ready to get what we wanted sammy should be our 10th elimination here there you go ring cleaner now we just gotta win this whole thing and that's what i did and because i was playing the group casino battle royal in that latest run i made sure that i ended the match with wrestlers left in my team so it was easy to get match of the year which is getting an a plus on all the categories and of course getting that dave Meltzer seven star rating even though it wasn't in the tokyo dome so i don't think that's real and i save uh, probably the words for last as now we have to do road to elite and get all of the trophies related to it the problem with this is this trophy right here which require us to do 10 different runs that is very tedious ironically this roman reigns storyline turned out to be probably the best one that you could get out of the few different paths that the story can take you in in the initial press conference roman makes it clear that he is here to take over aew so in the first a few chapters the first two blocks we have to fight off a few tag teams go through a couple of led screens and get in the middle of factions of breaking up all of this uh, to make an impact and finally put the plan into motion and to do that he starts uh, targeting or oh, those are on top taking out john moxley in a barbed wire match even more ironic roman then goes after another evp cody rhodes he takes him 
out and now he is about to go for the next at three evps kenny and the young bucks kenny is first not an easy match but we got it done and then at the end it was the young bucks this was a two-on-one yes i was playing on elite difficulty so it was hard and we lost meaning that the young bucks remained evp of course if we would have won roman would have control of aew and road to elite would have ended right there but not much would have changed because there isn't a lot of cutscenes. the only difference is that you might join a different faction or do a different tag teams with different wrestlers now in this run we were of course eating a lot with roman reigns so he could keep healthy so we got the food credit trophy i also ended up winning one of the mini games within this mode and for completing it once we got on the road to elite i then had to do it nine more times <laughs> The first few were okay because I needed to do specific things within each run. And there it is. That's the last one. We got all the t-shirts on all the cities. Welcome to Elite. That's for winning the world title. And that was a good run because we got two. I then had to do another big run with Kenny Omega. This time to train to the max, which required us to train 30 times. And if you do the math, then yes, that means that I had to do two training sessions every single week for 15 weeks this means that i had to skip out on some of the food sometimes but the good thing is that because kenny is op in this game if you're winning every match you should be okay and on each chapter you basically become number one contender for all the titles in the game and by the time you finish this run you will get the triple crown trophy which is for holding three titles at the same time in road to elite believe it or not this wasn't even enough to get get the hardest trophy in the game which is the hall of famer trophy earn a career grade of a plus in road to elite even when i won the three titles and won all the matches i only got 97k career earnings for a b plus so i had to go at it again and this time making sure i don't lose any matches be on elite difficulty and have a great matches each time also had to win a lot of the mini games each week Week and purchase many of the boost to help me out in the final chapter i had to beat up an alter ego version of kenny and then win the title it came close up but at the end we got the hall of famer trophy i still needed to do more road to elite but i was exhausted so we had to focus on something else started playing with wrestlers that, that i haven't played yet to get equal opportunity player winning 50 matches with 50 different wrestlers in this process we also got the king of hearts by completing 100 total singles matches in exhibition i actually had to do over 200 because this wasn't triggering for some reason but we got it eventually and we did unlock owen hart for it which was great it was then time to go back to road to elite and finish what we started this time i just needed to finish it so on each run all that i did was quit out of every single match to lose all of them until we got to the end this is it adam core you already know it's all about the boom we gotta get that platinum in style so let's set him up for the last special because we all know i'm quitting the next four-way match for the title we already done that too many times on other runs and there's the last shot tony khan had a nice message and then it went down yes i know i have completed every single scenario possible yes i would like to end a road to elite here we go this is it living the wrestlers alive complete road to elite 10 times never again i don't even care i got a d because we got all trophies earned we got the platinum and that was my third one i gotta say it wasn't as amazing as my second one which was for spider-man 2 so make sure to check that one out if you haven't yet